and know that He is God, and there's no need to fight, for the battle is not yours, the battle is the Lord's.
Some of you know, spray it on your shop, spray it on your bank account, spray it on your business, spray it in your office, spray it on that company that you have, so that it will begin to smell sweet. If you are the one God is talking to say, I hear. Some of the angels are here with oil perfume. Some of them are here with male perfume. Some are here with women perfume, female perfume, to spray on you. In Proverbs 27 verse 9, the Bible says, ointment and perfume rejoices the heart. So they are here with perfume. Ointment and perfume rejoices the heart. They are here with perfume. What kind of perfume do they do? are they here with? Different forms of perfume. Different types of perfume. Some of them are here with, uh, with Melinda. Some of them are here with Elo. Some of them are here with Network. Different perfume. Some, are, some of them are here with Inferior. Some of them are here with, with, with Lapidus. Some are here with Pure Instinct. Victorious Secret Things. Some of them are here with Latifa perfumes. With different perfumes. To spray on you. So that you will begin to smell the smell of favor. Hallelujah. It may not be the, the physical perfume you came, you came with. They came with heavenly perfume. And I just gave you the names of the physical perfumes we have here. Some of them. But they came with heavenly one. It could be oily perfume. It could be the one for women. It could be the one for men. It could be any type of perfume to change your smell and cause you to be able to smell sweet. In Psalms 45 verse 8, the Bible says that all your garments smell of Ma and Alios and Kesha out of the ivory palaces whereby they are made in heart. You need the smell of favor. You need the smell of favor. When you smell sweet, your heart will always rejoice. Proverbs 27 9. Point, point and perfume rejoices the heart. When you smell sweet, your heart will always rejoice. Because smelling sweet is The devil does not want you to smell the smell of fear. The forces of hell don't want you to smell the smell of fear. That is why in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1, the Bible says, death flies, causes the smell, the, 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 the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking sound. Satanic orchestrator, dead flies, cause the ointment of the apothecary to set forth a stinking sample instead of a, smell, a, a sweet smell, instead of the fragrance of favor. You begin to release a stinking sample. Stinking sample will be oozing out of you. And that is why the angels of God are here with perfume to change your smell. To change the smell of your business, to change the smell of your destiny, to change the smell of your bank account. I see them doing it for us in the name of Jesus. This satanic power, satanic forces that bring them flies are the reason for lack of favor. They are the reason why, instead of favor, we are oozing out stinking sorrow. They are the reason behind it. At times, they bring dead flies. At times, they bring animals, carcasses, human corpses, human feces, animal feces, difficult. They make, they bring stench, probably from the soak away, to make people to stink. They are responsible for mouth odor. They are responsible for body odor. They are responsible for armpit odor. They are responsible for the smell that oozes out of private parts. They are responsible for smelling clothes. Today, God will change your smell. I'm talking to somebody in my prophecy. Today, God will change your smell in the name of Jesus. God will not leave you smelling bad. God will change your smell into sweet smell. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to show you 10 reasons why 
why people smell bad. Every reason is why people smell bad. Number one, carelessness. Ecclesiastes 10 1. Carelessness is the first reason why people smell bad. When people are careless, especially with their hygiene, with their spiritual lives, it gives the enemies access into their lives to pollute their atmosphere. When you are careless with your hygiene, when you are careless with your spiritual life, it gives the enemy access into your life to pollute the atmosphere. Into your business, to pollute the atmosphere. Into your destiny, to pollute the atmosphere. Carelessness. The second reason why people smell bad it is lack of spiritual sensitivity. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1. You must be spiritually sensitive to know that your atmosphere could be corrupted, could be polluted. That your atmosphere could be changed by these forces of darkness. They could compromise the smell of your atmosphere. Instead of smelling sweet, your atmosphere will begin to bring forth a stinking sample. A bad smell, and you will be church. The material reason why people smell bad it is dirtiness. Dirtiness. It is a system one. When people are dirty, they begin to smell bad. This involves dirtiness of the mouth, dirtiness of the body, dirtiness of the tongue, or clothes. You know, there are people that don't like to take their baths. They don't know, they don't like to take their baths. I remember having some members and visitors stay with us, about nine of them were staying with us some years back. Nine of them were staying in our house. And uh, two came from Cameroon and others were just around. And one of them, one of them, who is also a clergyman, the pastor, he will not take his bath at times seven days, seven, he won't take his bath. Now, there is a shower that is flowing in the house, shower is flowing in the house. It is not that there wasn't shower, there was shower that was flowing in that house. And yet, somebody will stay seven days, the boxers were smelling, the mouth were smelling, and one bad character, one bad character, he was doing he will go to the fridge and carry bottled water. Instead of using cup to drink, he will put it in his mouth. One day I called him and said, Come, nobody wants to kiss that smelly mouth. Too. Just use cup. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Some people don't know how to take care of their hygiene. Some don't even know how to brush their mouth. They only do their teeth and forget about the tongue. The tongue is where all the comes from. You see the tongue very white. They don't know how to use that toothbrush to brush the tongue. They don't know how to extend the toothbrush to their throat and also brush it very well. They just do the teeth and then they are gone. And then the mouth is sending forth a stinking sound. I watched a video where a young man was teaching uh, some policemen how to end what the mouth order. Mm -hmm. He said, get Olubu, with a leaf. Just get some leaves of bitter leaf and then use your blender to blend it. When you blend it, the foam, you will see, if you use blender to blend it, you will see foam inside. He said, boil water separately in the cup, then carry that foam and put it inside. They carry alum, cut little alum, and put it inside. Then they stir in it and open your mouth and your nose and be inhaling it. Just like that. The, the vapor that is coming up, just be inhaling it. He said, you can take some of the leaves and then and then some of the distilled water and drink and then it will clear the smelling mouth of the healing guy. Now, when people are dirty, they tend to generate body odor, clothes odor, and so on and so forth. Just like the story of the pastor I told you. Seven days, someone will not bet. 
and the boxers and they will change color. Wearing one boxers for seven days. God have mercy. Amen. The fourth reason why people smell bad is lack of spiritual sensitivity. I'm oh, sorry, lack of spiritual alertness. Lack of spiritual alertness. It is a system one. Dead fly. Toss the ointment of the apostle to send forth the stinking sound. So people are not spiritually alert to know that demons are responsible for their smelling bad. When people are spiritually alert in prayers, in fasting, in watch study, in worship, the atmosphere will remain permanently sweet. It will repel the demons of disfavor, the demons that are coming to pollute your atmosphere, corrupt your atmosphere. When you spend time worshiping, praying, fasting, reading the word, worshiping God, having intimacy with God, your atmosphere will carry God. And demons will not be able to have access to you to corrupt your atmosphere. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So spiritual alertness is very, very important. If you want to smell sweet, you must be alert spiritually. You must spend time in prayers especially, with the world especially. Your atmosphere will just carry God. And when you carry God, you must smell sweet. There will be a compelling force for you to smell sweet. I see somebody carrying God in the name of Jesus. Number five, ancestral forces. Lamentation 5, 7 to 8. Jeremiah 31, 29. Ezekiel 18, 2. Ancestral forces. Lamentation 5, 7 to 8. Our fathers have seen and they are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us, therefore none that dwell, therefore none that dwell deliver us out of their hands. There is none that deliver us out of their hands. Now, in Jeremiah 31, 29, the Bible says, On that day it shall not all be saved, that the fathers ate sour graves, and the children's teeth are set on, on earth. It shall not be saved. It shall not be saved. Ecclesiastes 18.2. Ecclesiastes 18.2. It's just the same scriptures. That the father's ate someone great. And the children's teeth. Ezekiel 18.2. Ezekiel 18.2. The father's ate someone great. And the children's teeth are set for age. What mean ye that you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel? Saying that the fathers have eaten so much grapes and the children's things are set on edge. Now listen, listen. There are families that have body odor. It's there in their genetic. That the family have body odor. Now, one of the ways of curing it, they are curing it is by praying and by, by bed, constant uh, taking bed. You bet several times in a day. You handle it. So there are people that they are, they are, the reason why they smell is because of their family lineage. It comes from the family. It is an ancestral thing. This one is smelling bad. The other one is smelling bad, and it goes along to cripple their favor. It cripples their favor and keeps them in permanent state of disfavor. They are permanently disfavored. Praise God. If there is someone like that here, God is helping you out. In the name of Jesus. Number six, demonic forces. It is Genesis chapter 10 as well. The sixth reason why people smell bad is because of demonic forces. Demonic forces. They are the ones that come to people in the night when they are sleeping with difficulties. They are the ones that come with corpses, with carcasses, with dead flies, with dead bodies, with stench to pollute the atmosphere of the people. I've heard people say that they had demonic invasion in their house. As they are sleeping, demons came in, demons attacked them or oppressed them. And as they woke up from sleep, they perceived a smelling atmosphere. 
The demons came with them and corrupted their atmosphere and made them to begin to, to, begin to smell bad. Are you with me, church? They do it to stop people's favor. That's why they come with that difficult, that smelling atmosphere. Because they want to stop the favor of people. Your favor cannot be stopped. Because it is coming from a roof. Number seven reason why people smell bad, it is because of attacks from evil people. Attacks from evil people. Ecclesiastes chapter, uh, sorry, uh, Isaiah 8, 19, Numbers 23, 23. Evil people. The Bible says, when they shall say to you, seek unto them that have familiar spirit, and unto which are happy, and that mutter, should not the people seek unto their God for the living to the dead. Now, there are people that, instead of seeking God, they go to seek evil forces against people, to work against people. We call such people evil for evil people. Are you understand what I'm saying? Evil people consult with witch doctors, with sagomas, with alphas, with this and why, with the yamoja. These are names of, you know, these evil priests or priestesses. They call them sagomas in South Africa. They call them alphas. The Yorubas. It's the why the evils call them. The yamoja, the Yorubas also. Madam or Boka. In Alsa, they consult to them. So they could change your smell. So they could change the smell of your business. Instead of smelling sweet, it will begin to bring forth a stinking sour that repels you. There are many people that are smelling bad today that somebody was behind it. It wasn't one man, somebody orchestrated it. Today, the judgment of God is coming on them in the name of Jesus. Is the reason behind why you are smelling bad? May God attack them on your behalf in the name of Jesus. We bring the attack of God in their lives in the name of Jesus. Number eight reason why people smell bad is voices from evil altars. The trumpet chapter 7 verse 5. Voices from evil altars. The trumpet 7 5. Zechariah 1 18 to 21. When they consult these evil altars, you discover that voices from these altars will pollute their atmosphere and scatter their favor and brings them into this favor. Voices from the altars of evil is the reason why most people are smelling bad. If they have an altar, we have an altar. The altar of Calvary, the altar of Golgotha that smashed down the altars of darkness. In Hebrews 12:24, the Bible says that we have a better covenant to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of heaven. Hallelujah. If their altar is speaking evil pollution, our altar is speaking fragrance of favor. That is somebody's portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Number nine, satanic spells or arrows. The ninth reason why people spell bad is as a result of satanic spells or arrows. It is a system one. We've read this place. I want you to know that it was an arrow from the devil. Dead flies. Because the ointment of the opportunity to send for the stinking sample is an arrow from the devil. It's an arrow. Numbers 23, 23 says there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is, neither is there any definition against Israel. Psalms 91 verse 5 says, You should not be afraid of the terror at night, nor the arrows that fly by day. There are arrows that are flying by day. Satanic spells or satanic arrows that are flying by day. Micah 5 12. He says, You will cut up which come out of the land. And they shall no longer cast spells. They shall no longer be arrows. There are arrows that are fired at people to corrupt their atmosphere. I don't know that spell that is on your life, on our lives, on this commission. We command that spell. Be in the name of Jesus. Amen. That makes us to smell bad. 
that makes a stinking sour to be perceived instead of the fragrance of flavor, instead of uh, uh, sweet smell. Hallelujah. Amen. May God change your smell Amen. and give you a sweet smell. May God change your smell and give you a sweet smell. Every stinking sour will convert them into a sweet smell in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number nine reason why people smell bad is as a result of evil perfume. Evil perfume. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes 10 1. Evil perfume. Just like the angels of God are here with heavenly perfume to change your smell. So that the fragrance of favor will be oozing out of you. So that you begin to smell sweet and attract favor. There are demons that are carrying evil perfume in their hearts. And humanly speaking, we have some of their human agents, human forces, human representatives that wear such evil perfume on their body. They spray it on themselves. Especially like the Fulanis. They put it on themselves. The Yorubans, the Hausas, the Indians, the Occults, occulting people, they put it on themselves. They spray incense. Incense. They spray, they put scent, scent, scent. Not perfume per se. They carry a scent of incense and put on themselves. And that's a born incense. I remember traveling in a vehicle, the public transport, with some of these people. I felt like jumping down because the, 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 the perfume they were wearing was so irritating. I don't know, have you perceived such perfume before? Oh, may God deliver you. May God deliver you. It carries a satanic atmosphere. When you come around there, you feel devil, you feel demons. And that's the kind of sense, that, that's the kind of incense they put on. And they, they pollute the whole atmosphere, and everybody there will feel irritated. Evil perfume. Evil perfume. It repels favor from people, it brings stench to people, and makes the atmosphere to smell bad. Are you understanding me? There is a reason for the stinking sour the Bible is talking about. By the mantle of God upon my life and the mantle upon my father, not of us of all the nature, I release the perfume of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I spray God's perfume on you and I change your smell in the name of Jesus. I change your atmosphere in the name of Jesus. May the fragrance of favor make you acceptable, make you attractive, make you sweet. You become accessible. Your life should begin to fall in pleasant places. Stagnation ends. Bank account is released into receiving a lot of our lives. I declare on you the change of smell in the name of Jesus Christ. For the smell of fame. These six secrets are the secrets that will change your atmosphere. These are the secrets that will bring favor on you. These are the secrets that will make you acceptable, attractive, sweet, and favored. Number one secret for the smell of favor. I will make you to smell sweet is prophetic covering. Prophetic covering. It makes you to smell sweet. In Genesis 27 27, we saw Isaac enjoying it. I mean, Jacob enjoying it from Isaac. Isaac, their father, was like a prophet. And they enjoyed it. When you have a prophetic covering, your atmosphere must change. It must change. In Genesis 27, 27, 
Hosea 12, 13. The Bible says that when Isaac finished eating the venison given to him by Jacob, the Bible says, and he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his garment and blessed him, and said, See the smell of my soul. It's as the smell of the thing which the Lord had blessed. Prophetic covering changed his atmosphere. Prior to that time, there was no smelling sweet. But immediately when he came under prophetic covering, he began to smell sweet. You need it. You need it. It will not only change the smell of your atmosphere, but your destiny and your business, your, your, your working place, the atmosphere will change. And it will begin to smell sweet. You need a prophetic covering. Hosea 12, 13, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. You need a prophetic covenant. You need a prophetic covenant. You need it. Every pastor needs a spiritual father. Every member needs a spiritual father. You need this. And God is a giver of fathers. You don't need yourself fathers. We have many mentors, but one father. I will give them pastors according to my heart. That will feed them with knowledge and understanding. You don't give yourself a father. You come under their covering. I remember one of us here who couldn't be in church for a month and a week, about five weeks. And then the person called me in one of the Saturdays and was literally weeping. Okay, Sunday, Sunday. Literally, literally with me, pleading with me to come to the business center and pray. And then, by the mercy of God, I was in the gate of the shop. Four minutes after seven. And then, I was thinking that the shop would be open by seven. So I, st I stayed there, I was speaking in tongues, waiting for them till seven thirty. Immediately they opened the gate, I stepped in first. I spoke in tongues from the gate to the shop. Because I know it's so. I began to speak in tongues here. And then that week, the atmosphere of that environment changed. And the person made sales and was something the way in church. And the tithe the person paid showed that God visited him. And the person was able to pay the house rent because that was a complaint. The house rent the shop rent and the other things and God was able to help us at that point at that point in time. So atmosphere could be changed when you are under a spiritual covering and then also working according to the principles and the teachings of the word of God that you are hearing from the man of God. Because it is possible, listen, it is possible to come under a spiritual covering and be blessed. And it is also possible for you to go out of it if you leave your spiritual covering. There were people that have left their spiritual covering and uh, the devil came in and bastardized their lives and took them back to Egypt and sprayed on them stinking salmon and they began to smell bad and their feet were left. Are you understanding me? So you need a spiritual covering a prophetic covering, you need it. You need it. It will change your atmosphere. It will change your, the, your business atmosphere. I pray for somebody hearing me. In, in the church and online, I pray that God will change your atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. All those that are connected to our services, anytime we come up online, I pray for you this week, this month of April, may God change your atmosphere. Yeah. May God change your atmosphere. By the mantle of God upon my life, may God change your atmosphere. Amen. You need a prophetic covering. I got the message of God. Our Father is asking all of us to come to Abuja. Tomorrow, we want to meet with us tomorrow. And I was speaking with the pastor in Abuja here, the senior pastor in Abuja. So, we are to be in Abuja tomorrow. We want to meet with us from 11 to Three or four. Amen. So I'm trusting God to make it a possibility so that probably this, some of them, I was discussing with one of the pastors yesterday, 
He said one of them, when he was speaking with one of them, and he said, immediately after the service, he's entering flight straight to Abuja. Yeah. So we're trusting God to be here so that we will go and receive a, a past blessing. Amen. So prophetic covering is very important. Number two secret for spelling, for the spell of favor is loving righteousness and hating wickedness. Psalms 5 verse 12. You must love righteousness and hate wickedness if God will change the smell of your atmosphere. You cannot be loving uh, wickedness and want to smell sweet. <laughs> For that Lord will bless the righteous with what? With favor. Will not compass him as with the shield, with, with the smell of favor. When you love righteousness, you are trying the blessing of God. For that Lord will bless the righteous. And what is the blessing? Favor. He will compass him with favor as with the shield. You must love righteousness and hate wickedness or iniquity. Psalms 45 7, Hebrews 1 9. Psalms 45 7, Hebrews 1 9. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. Look at it. Thou lovest what? Righteousness and hatest what? Wickedness. That is the key. That is the secret. Hebrews 1 9, same scripture. Thou hast loved righteousness and hate dead iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fingers. You must love righteousness, righteous practices, righteous acts, if you want to enjoy the favor of God. Look at what God talked about Job. Job 1 1. He was a perfect man, an upright man, one that feared God and his steward evil. He was perfect, he was upright. That uprightness speaks about righteousness. He feared God and he eschewed evil. And then he attracted favor in the spirit. The substance. God began to give him substance. The favor began to attract substance of sheep, of camels, of 500 yoke of oxen, of asses, of very great household. So that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. Righteousness pays. We must hate evil. We must hate wickedness. And love righteousness. Are you understanding me? God changes the smell of the people who love righteousness and hate wickedness and iniquity. He changes their smell. May God give you a sweet smell. May God spray on you a sweet perfume. And 
from the fold, and there shall be no hurt in the storm. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. This one is saying that my joy is not because of financial breakthrough. My joy is not because of credit amounts. My joy is not because of things working well for me. Eh? Whether they work well or not, I will rejoice in them. I will join in the God of my salvation. When you maintain this kind of attitude, Philip was following Isaiah 64 verse 5. He meets him that rejoices. That meets him. When you are rejoicing, God will meet you. And when God meets you, they will change your atmosphere. The angels that go with him will spread the you. Can you meet him with a smelling body? Eh? He will change. When Mary Magdalene, we talked about her last Sunday, when she was coming to Jesus, the seven demons did what? He left her. We've seen people being brought to Jesus. Immediately they saw Jesus, the demons in them began to cry out. And they were now be casted out. So God cannot meet you and then leave you smelling bad. No. When God meets you, He will change your smell. And you begin to smell sweet. You begin to attract him. You begin to attract money. You begin to attract vision helpers. It's a prophecy for somebody here. And you understand what I'm saying? Maintain a joyful heart. Rejoice in the Lord thy God always. And again I say rejoice. Philippians 4 4. First Thessalonians 5 16. Rejoice evermore. Maintain a joyful spirit. Maintain a joyful spirit. Always be joyful. Always be joyful. You will attract God. God dwells in a joyful environment. God doesn't like hostile environments. Praise God. Number four, secret for the spell of favor is having a good name. I'm trying not to pass one more preaching. Having a good name. How can a good name give you favor? Yes. If you have a good name, it will open doors. A good name. Do you know that there are people that their names do open doors for people? Eh? Because they created a good name for themselves. When they hear that you are the son of social and so person, do you know that during employment, some people have their candidates. So these are my candidates. Let's use, for example, I'm not saying that they do the people I'm going to call limit. Let's say there is a job opportunity. And somebody comes to that place and says, I am from the Senate President. Or from the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Or I am from the IG of Police. These names alone will open doors for them. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Somebody was lamenting. Uh, the governor is making his brother, giving his brother position, doing this and that. Even if I am a pastor, if I be governor, all my family members will enjoy the session and season of rest. I believe so. Will you go there and not bless your family members? I don't tell me that governor put make it, if you don't put them, who you go put? So long as they have the qualifications, they went to school, they are graduates. Let them enjoy me too in your enjoyment season. So having a good name is very important. Please don't do anything to show your name. The cause of, you know, posterity. Very, very important. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. Songs of Solomon, 1, 3. Ecclesiastes 7, 1. Proverbs 22, verse 1. Songs of Solomon, 1, 3. Because of the summer of their good ointment. This one now is just. This is bringing out a good sabbath, not a stinking sabbath. So because of the sabbath of that good ointment, thy name, thy name is as ointment poured for therefore the virgin is Lord. When your name is sweet, when you have a good name, favor will be associated with you. You will not only enjoy it, the people around you will enjoy it. When I went to see Dr. Omai from New York, when immediately I told the wife that uh, I am the son to Dr. Paso Paul and uh, the facilitation to see him was so fast. Where is that son of energy about? Hallelujah. It was the process was facilitated. Because of his name. 
So a good name is like a fragrance and it causes the virgins to love you. Have a good name. Ecclesiastes 7 1, Proverbs 22, verse 1. Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes 7 1. A good name is better than precious ointment. A good name, a good name is better than what? Precious ointment. Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver. When you carry good name, listen, great riches will follow you. When you carry good name, favor will follow you. Silver and gold will follow you. Have a good name. Have you, have you, is, have you ever heard somebody answering Jezebel? He just came back to a daughter. I said, uh, during the naming ceremony, what is your daughter's name? Jezebel. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we only have one Jezebel in history of humanity, if I'm not mistaken. Because the name is a bad name. How many of you want to give your daughters, uh, 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 how do you call them? Deborah, Esther. You want your daughters to be called Esther, Deborah, and Mary, Eunice, Abigail, and so on and so forth. Because a good name is the secret for the smell of favor. It opens doors. When Papa Idausa was alive in those days, if people are coming to Nigeria, his name was equivalent to a visa. Immediately you land, he would tell you to tell them that you are going to be new to see Archbishop Bessie in Aosa. That near the door. Immigration, all the people, the people will not be stopped. Because you are going to be new to see in Aosa. The name became like a visa. Are you with me in church? You need to have a good name. Please, parents, have a good name for your children. Don't do anything that will make your children to suffer. Because good name can open door not only for you but for your children. Don't do anything that will make your name to be bad. Have a good name. Look at your name as a level. Have a good name. Number five secret for the spell of favor is creating a sweet atmosphere. You will be the one to create it by yourself. Creating a sweet atmosphere. Psalms 45 verse 7. Hebrews 1 9, creating a sweet atmosphere. Psalms 45 7, Hebrews 1 9. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, the Lord thy God, even thy God has anointed thee with the word of gladness above thy fellows. Hebrews 1 9 is the same thing. You must consciously and deliberately create a sweet atmosphere for yourself and for your generation. Create it, create it, create it. It will translate into the fragrance of faith. Now, how do you create a, a, a sweet atmosphere? By prayers, rigorous prayers. By fasting, by worship, by speaking in tongues, by spiritual songs, melodious songs, spiritual exercises, prophetic declaration. When you do that to smell sweet, come to your shop, create an atmosphere. Come to your family, create an atmosphere. Create an atmosphere to the church. There were churches that have come to the realm of almost going, and all of a sudden, God's kept in and brought the church. We've had several testimonies of it. Because one or two persons, or some people, decided to create a sweet atmosphere by their prayers, by their worship, by their disposition, by their confessions, declarations, create a sweet atmosphere. That was what the prophet did in Jeremiah 22, uh, I don't know whether that's 29 or so. He said, oh, earth, 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 hear ye the word of the Lord. He was creating a sweet atmosphere. 
It's like the earth was hard it, it was like the earth wasn't yielding well. As if it was under the spell of his finger. And the man came to the earth. Jeremiah 22, 29. Oh, earth, earth, earth. He pronounced it three times. Hear the word of the Lord. Media, I've been waiting for that scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe I think should be very serious. It's wrong. wrong. Amen. Did you see that? This man was creating a sweet atmosphere for himself. He must learn how to do that. That was what Ezekiel did. He came to the valley of dry bones alongside God and created an atmosphere. He must learn how to create a sweet atmosphere for himself. Speak to every smelling atmosphere to give you. Are you understanding me? Create a sweet atmosphere. And the angels of God will make it a possibility. And then finally, number six. Secrets for the spell of Pharaoh is the scent of waters. The scent of waters. Job 14, 7 to 9. Isaiah 32, 20. The scent of waters. Job 14, 7 to 9. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branches of the Lord cease. Though the roots thereof was all in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of waters, it will do what more and bring forth worse than the plant. Through the scent of waters. Isaiah 32 20 says, Blessed are those that do business in many waters. Blessed are those that sow beside all waters. What does this speak about the word of God? Are you understanding me? What does speak about the word? Ephesians 5 26. Ephesians 5 26. Ephesians 5 26. That if I sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word, you see that? So the sight of water speaks about revelation of scriptures. When you are loaded with revelation of scriptures, it will make every smelling atmosphere to change to a fragrance, a sweet fragrance. Fragrance of favor. So the word of God can make you smell sweet. The word of God can make your destiny smell sweet. Psalm 419 verse 103. The word of God can change every smelling atmosphere into a sweet atmosphere. Psalm 119 verse 103. 103. Thank you, Jesus. How sweet are thy words unto my taste? Yea! Sweeter than all into my mouth. The word of God can make you to smell sweet. Because the word is sweet. I pray for somebody here. This week, this month, and this second quarter of 2024, may God possibly smell sweet. In the name of Jesus. May God possibly smell sweet. In the name of Jesus. Shall we stand up? Open your mouth and begin to appreciate Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to give Him all the glory. Begin to give him all the praise. Mark up Roshanaba. Begin to thank him. We thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to honor him. We thank you, Jesus. Let Rekete, Mark up Roshende, Lick up Roshakata, Lake Proboshkeba, Lake Teba, Makataba, Lake Reteba Kata. Begin to thank God for the word of God. Begin to thank him for bringing this undiluted word to you. Begin to give him all the glory. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we magnify you. Let's break it. 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 Let's
Lika Brashakata, Maka Brashakata, Lipe Bukutu Bakata, Lika Kataka, Lipe Bukutu Bakashanda, Lika Brashakata, Lipe Bukushakata Katana, Lipe Katabaka Shakata, Lipe Katekete, Lika Bukushikete, Maka Bukushikete, Lika Brashakata Kataka. Say, my father, my father, change my spell, change the spell of my family. Change the spell of my destiny. Change the spell of my bank account. Change the spell of this commission. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Maka Proshakala, Lika Proshakata, Ibrakata, Lepropoto. Father, change my spell. Father, change my spell. Father, change my spell. Change the spell of this commission. Change the spell of my family. Change the spell of my destiny. Change the spell of my finances. Oh God, change my spell. Oh God, change my spell. Oh God, change my spell. Rakata, no proto koto, lika prakata, lifra kata kata. Change my spell, Lord. Change my spell, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray and say, my father, my father. I pray against all the forces of evil spell, all the forces of darkness responsible for bad spell in my life, in my family, in this commission, in my destiny. Oh God, I destroy them. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I'm not going to pray. Maka Proshakata, Le Trekete, Maka Proshakata, Le Kaproshakata, Le Prokote, Le Kaprata, Le Kaprokoto, Le Trekete, Irakata Kata, Maka Proshakata, Le Kaprokoto, Le Kaprakata Kata Kata Kata. Jesus, 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 we destroy you in good forces, we destroy you in good forces, we destroy you in good altars, we destroy you in good people, we destroy you in good powers. You powers of darkness that bring about death flies, that bring about stench, that bring about stench and sorrow. We destroy you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let's pray and ask God and say, Oh God, help us to always smell sweet. Oh God, help us to always activate the secret of smelling sweet. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Maka Prosh Kandava, Lake Teba, Maka Prosh Kese, Lika Prosh Kandava, Maka Prosh Kandava, Lake Teba Kashasa, Lika Prosh Kandava. Maka Prosh Kandava, Lake Prokoto Kandava, Lika Prosh Kete, Lake Teba Kandava, Malaka Kandava Kandava, Lika Prosh Kete, Lika Prosh Kandava Kandava, Asko Teba, Asko Teba, Asko Teba, Jesus, help us to activate this secret in Jesus' name. Let's pray and say, my Father, send your angels with heavenly perfumes to spray on us. Oh God, send your angels with heavenly perfumes to spray on me, to spray on my family, to spray on Christmas Bible Church, to spray on my destiny, to spray on my business center, to spray on my office, to spray on my shop, to spray on all my garments. Oh God, send your angels with heavenly perfumes now in the name of Jesus. Open your hands and begin to pray. Lanka shaka papa, le brasa papa, le brasa shaka papa, le pete pete, le pete pete, le pete pete. Oh Lord, send your heavenly angels, send your angels with heavenly perfume, send your angels with heavenly perfume to change the smell of church when I was in church, to smell the smell of church when I was in church, to smell to change my smell, to change the smell of my finances, to change the smell of the finances of this church, to change the smell. Of my family, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name. Shall we go on our knees and ask God for divine intervention? Every strange disease that is being released from the kingdom of darkness to the world, oh God, we pray for divine intervention. Divine intervention in my life, divine intervention in my family, divine intervention in this commission. Open your mouth and begin to pray. These are our eight weeks of divine intervention. It will continue till the last uh, service of this month, either Sunday or Wednesday, the last service of this month. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, we pray for divine intervention. 
We pray for divine intervention. We pray for divine intervention. Oh God, every agenda of the devil over our life, over our life, over this commission's life. We pray for divine interventions. We pray for divine interventions in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Father, we thank you for hearing us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray for those that want to give their lives to Jesus that are in line and offline. After that, we're going to pray for the angels to go down and spray those perfumes on you in line and offline. Shall we be on our feet as I pray for those that want to give their lives to Jesus? Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender unto you. Come into my life. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with thy precious blood. Cancel my name from the book of death. I write my name in the book of life. Oh Lord, give me grace to serve you in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you if you pray these prayers. I declare you born again. I declare you saved, cleansed, and accepted in the name of, in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of sin. I break the yoke of the devil. And I hand you over to God. For onward movements from on earth in your service to God till you get to heaven. In the name of Jesus. I declare you blessed. In Jesus' name. Now straight forth your hands. You are in line and offline. Straight forth your hands. I declare the angels of God to go around right now with bottles of perfume. I spray them on you right now. I spray them on you right now. I release them on you right now. Receive!
We live here with our name making us to be loved. We live here looking likable, attractive, accepted, beloved, and favored. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. I want to pray for those that want to give an offering that are completed on the screen. Favor has located you. I want to speak to somebody that prophesies. In the next 24 hours, you are receiving a phone call that will change your story. You are online, offline, you are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I can't be there on the screen for you to give your tithe in your offering, so you'll see. Please make sure you pay it to the end of those accounts. I declare your offering blessed. I declare your sin blessed in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. have been blessed by this broadcast for prayer counseling and partnership call 08050833649 and worship with us at Christ Winners Bible Church Worldwide Incorporated 41 Okigwe Road second floor Aba Abia State Nigeria you can join us on any of our weekday services Wednesday miracle service by 5 p.m. Sunday celebration service by 9 a.m. last Friday of the month miracle and testimony night by 9 p.m. first Saturday of the month oil of favor and protection service by 6 30 a.m. Come and be blessed.